Welcome to Get Started Fast with Pro Tools First. Now that you have Pro Tools First installed and your audio interface is connected, let's take a look at the Quick Start menu, which appears when Pro Tools First launches. When you launch Pro Tools First, you'll be greeted with a dashboard. Now there are a few different things you can do here, so let's take a quick look. The first thing you'll want to do if you haven't already is sign into your Avid account right here on the top right hand side of the dashboard. Simply click sign in and then enter your email and password. Once you enter the email address and password associated with your Avid account, you'll see your name right here in the top right hand corner of the dashboard. Directly under that, you'll see how many projects you have available. Remember, you get storage for three cloud-based projects with Pro Tools First. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see that you have the ability to either create a brand new project from scratch or open a project you've previously been working on. To the right of that, you'll see that you've got the ability to create a project using a template. Now, templates are a really great way to start learning Pro Tools First. With so many different music and genre types, you can find the one that suits your needs. Let's go ahead and create a session from a template. First, we check Create from Template, and then we'll find a template based on the type of music we want to create. Let's go ahead and choose the house template, and then we'll name the project. Once you've named your project and click Create, Pro Tools First will then open up the template. You can see here, we've got our editor range window with a few different track types, some plugins, as well as some MIDI information. So here, in your editor range window, if you ever get lost, you can always access the menu right on top of the screen. Here you'll be able to find anything you need, including different window types, different ways to set up your hardware and your playback engine, as well as different types of audio suite plugins, and the ability to create, open, and save your projects. Now remember, Pro Tools First comes with several different track types. You've got 16 instrument tracks, 16 audio tracks, 16 MIDI tracks, 16 auxiliary tracks, and four master faders. In this template, you can see that we've got a couple of instrument tracks here, already with Expand 2 ready to go for some of the instruments, and a couple of other plugins including the Dyn3 compressor limiter. You'll also notice that there's some MIDI information already here in the editor range window. Now this MIDI information relates to this instrument track which has been titled Drums, and you can see here that we've got Expand 2 handling all the drums. To play this information back, we'll simply need to either click Play on the transport, or just click on the spacebar. Now you can just press the spacebar again to stop playback, or you can hit the stop button right here in the transport. In this session, we're using a tempo of 120 BPM, or beats per minute. Now we can always change that by going right up here to our MIDI toolbar and entering a new tempo. Let's go ahead and change the tempo from 120 to 124. Now the session will play back at the correct tempo. Now, we can quickly go through and listen and preview some of the other sounds that are in this session or this project by simply clicking on the track title. And all I need to do now is just hit some notes on my MIDI keyboard and I can hear that sound. Let's go ahead and record a quick bass pattern using the bass sound from Expand 2. To do that, I'll just go ahead and click Record Enable right here on my bass track. Now we're going to want to go ahead and make sure we're all the way back at the beginning of the session, so to do that I'll just go ahead and hit Rewind or Return to Zero right here in the transport. Then I'm going to click Record and make sure we've got Count Off enabled. And then once we're ready we'll go ahead and hit Play and after two bars we'll start recording. Here goes. Once I'm done recording, I can simply click stop or just press the space bar and we'll be out of record mode. Now again, we'll return to zero and then just hit the space bar to play back our recorded material. Now let's take a look at a different window that you have available to you inside of Pro Tools First. That window is called the Mix window. To get there, we'll simply navigate our mouse right up to the Window menu, and then we'll click on it, and we'll choose Mix. Once you do that, 
your mix window will appear. Now your mix window shows the same tracks you have available to you in the edit arrange window, but does it in a fashion from left to right. Here are a few different things you can do in the mix window. With playback started, if I wanted to go ahead and solo just the bass track, I would just go ahead right here on the track for that and click the S button, which stands for solo. Once I click it, it'll be highlighted yellow and you'll only hear the sound on that track. Now if I wanted to mute the sound or silence it, I would simply hit the M button, which stands for mute. So now you can hear we have the drums, but no bass. Now in the later videos, we'll be going into further depth of how we can build a song from scratch using all the available tools and plugins in Pro Tools First. Don't forget to always save your work. You can save your session by clicking File and then Save. Now save early and save often. We'll see you here in the next video, and we're going to learn how to build a session from scratch.